Discoveriteers, it's I, Captain Discovery from the Discovery Center Museum in Rockford, Illinois. Perhaps you've heard of me? You haven't. Well, well, that's understandable. I'm pretty new on the superhero scene. By day, I'm a mild-mannered employee with the Discovery Center Museum, but for safety reasons, I'm staying at home right now. And it was when the museum told me that I'd be staying at home that I got a great idea. This is the perfect opportunity to live out my dream and become the greatest science superhero. Oops, oops, sorry, out of camera. Still getting used to this. Where was I? Oh, yes. To become the greatest science superhero in all of Rockford, Illinois. And it is... Can you keep it down? The baby's trying to sleep. Uh, I, I think you mean Captain Discovery, honey. That's, uh, that's my name. Right, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep it down, sorry. Captain Discovery is here to save the day. Now I'm sure all of you are watching right now thinking, hey, that guy's pretty cool. I wish I could be a science superhero just like him. Well, Discovery Tears, I have some great news for you. You can, as part of the Discovery Center Museum's Playful Learning Home Program, I'm going to teach you how to be a fantastic science superhero. Today's mission, how to make a mask. Now, there are a lot of different ways to make a superhero mask, but I wanted to make sure that we only showed you the best way. That's why earlier today, I placed a call to Discovery Center's expert crafts expert, Amanda. <phone rings> Greetings, Amanda. Oh, hi, Jim. How's it going? Uh, I think you, uh, you might be mistaken. Bit of a connection error. This is actually uh, Captain Discovery. Oh, you're still going with that whole science superhero thing, are you? Yes, I am. And I was hoping that you could show me and the Discovery Tears how to make a superhero mask. Sure, that's easy. What you'll need first is a mask template like this which you can find on the Discovery Center Museum website in our Playful Learning at Home section. Just print one out and cut it out. After you cut it out, you can trace it on uh, any material you'd like, such as cardboard or felt, but I'm just gonna use paper. What kind of material are you gonna use, Jim? I mean, Captain Discovery. My mask is gonna be made from a durable but lightweight compound like Kevlar or perhaps some sort of titanium alloy. Do you have anything like that at home? No, uh, I guess I'll just use cardboard. That's probably a good idea. Once you've got your mask cut out, you can decorate it however you'd like. You could use markers, uh, crayons, paint, cut out hearts or stars, whatever you'd like to do to decorate it. Here are some masks that I made. Ooh, those are very nice. And as you can see, I then cut out a strip of paper and taped it to the sides here. So that way you can put on your mask like so. Amanda, where did you go? Amanda, you were just here. <laughs> oh, oh, there you are. Oh, oh what a relief. <laughs> <laughs> Masks are really fun and easy to make, aren't they, Captain Discovery? They sure are. Well, thank you so much for helping us today, Amanda. No problem. See you later. Bye-bye. Thanks, Amanda. Like Amanda says, you can decorate your mask any way you like. Feel free to paint it any color you want or add some paper decorations to really make it your own. It's a great way to create a fun science superhero and protect your super secret identity at the same time. Now, as you can see, I've used cardboard, and then what I did was I covered it in a bit of duct tape, and then I covered that in tin foil, and then painted it with acrylic paint. I feel that the foil really helps to accentuate the... That's all the time we have for today. Don't forget that a template for your mask can be found in the link in the description below, or on the Discovery Center Museum's playful learning section of our website. If you make a mask at home, be sure to share it with us by using the hashtag Discovery Center Science so that we can see your creation. And don't forget to share your science superhero name at the same time. Thanks for playing today, Discovery Tears. Hope to see you again soon.
Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities. Or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.